The sport of cleansing data is dangerous. The consequences are real. Crap data is heartless. Today, to ensure that you are in the right sport and prepared for the danger, the peril that you will face in this game, we're gonna have a quiz. Because I don't want you to get your head busted open by crap data. Quiz time. It's time to play Let's Whoop Crap Data. Every question in this episode is gonna be about joins. My last few videos covered this topic so if you're ready for this sport, you've watched the videos and you are ready for this test on joins. Here we go. Question one. When working with data, we have to do joins. Now, which of these is not a join? Left anti-join, cross join, right balanced join, inner join. Computer G, what is the answer? <laughs> All right. I hope you got that one. It's only going to get harder from here. Question, Question two. two. Which is not a join in the Get and Transform interface? The full outer join? The cross join? The left anti join? Or an inner join? Computer G, the answer, please. Ah, the cross join is not on the Get and Transform interface. Question, Question three. three. Get and Transform is part of Excel 2016. In previous versions of Excel, what would Get and Transform be called? Pivot tables, Power Query, Power Pivot, SQL Server. Computer G, what is the answer? Now, let's look at some data. Ice cream, you like ice cream? All right. I hope you have a napkin because it's about to get hot in here. We have two sets of data here. Data that each location has reported their inventory and data showing that ice cream was shipped to locations. And we can see that Mango Sherbert for the 11th Avenue location, they say they have four. Two Mango Mint Sherberts was sent to the 11th Avenue location, which means they are accountable for six Mango Mint Sherberts. Question four. In order to fully match these two data sets, which type of join would we use? Inner join, left anti join, cross join, full outer join. Computer G, what is the answer? Full outer join. Question five. In order to merge these two data sets, what must be done? Delete the product column, make queries from these two data sets, rearrange the columns, ensure that all column headers are identical. Computer G, the answer please. So what I'm gonna do now is do that merge. The first thing we have to do is make queries. Data from table slash range. Call this inventory. Now, 
the full outer join. Get data, combine queries, merge. Inventory, shipped. Full outer join, match, ice cream, and ice cream. Question six. We have to match ice cream with ice cream and location with shipped two. What key or keys must I push in order to do this? Control shift, shift, control, or alt. Computer G, the answer. I'm going to hold down the control key. Shift to and location. Okay. Expand. Okay. That's the full outer join. Let's close and load this to the workbook. Now we have new data from another location. We're going to add this to our existing data. Question seven, to integrate the new data in the existing final query, what must we do? Redo the inventory query, create a pivot table, choose refresh, create both queries again. Computer G. I'm gonna go over to data refresh there is our new data we have three sets of data and we have a program where in order to get in an applicant has to get a yes from interviewer one a yes from interviewer two and pass an exam our three sets of data shows everyone who interviewer one said yes who interviewer two said yes, and who failed the exam. Question eight. In order to generate a list of people who to accept in the program, we have to do two joins. Which would be those two joins in order? An inner join and then a right anti-join? A full outer join and another full outer join, a right anti-join, and then a full outer join. Computer G, the answer. Yes, we have to do an inner join and then a right anti-join. The inner join between interviewer one and interviewer two would give us a list of people who are on both lists. Then we have to do a right anti-join against the failed exam because we want to take the two yeses, that final list, and take away anybody who failed the exam. Cab would be on the inner join, but then cab would not be on the final list because Cab failed the exam. We have two lists of data. One, things that make me feel good inside. Two, oh no. Question nine. If we wanted a list that had censored four on it, but not chocolate milk, what type of join would that be? A full outer join, cross join, a balanced join, right anti-join. Computer G, the right anti-join, because we would want the list that would have anything on the all gnaw list only. If it has a match in the things that make me feel good inside list, we don't want it. And now, the final question. Question 10. 
If you saw me reciting the Lord's Prayer, being asked, lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. What type of join would generate the list to let you know what I might have encountered? A left anti-join, a right anti-join, an inner join, a left outer join. Computer G, the answer. Yes, the inner join. It's easy to resist accordion music. But it's hard to resist chocolate milk, my first ex-wife Helena, our memories of Times Square in the 1980s. We can't talk about that. Let's straighten up. If you missed zero or one question, I salute you. If you missed two or three questions, you're okay. You're well on the path. If you got zero or one right, we've got problems. I need for you to contact me and let's arrange for you to book a flight for me to come and help you one-on-one, -on -one, me and you. And if you're somewhere in between, you have to watch my last few videos on joins. And between videos, do 25 push-ups. Watch a video, 25 push-ups, watch another video. And do that continuously for 36 hours. Because you, you got to get tough. You got to get tough with this, all right? I care about you. The world needs you to help keep this world's data clean. Consequences are real. This game is tough. And crap data is hard. So let's take this serious, y'all. All right? Now, I'll see you in the next video.